Over the past few years, Haitians have faced surging COVID cases, a devastating earthquake, and political unrest. Now, thousands are seeking asylum in the United States. Cronkite News reporter Kylie Cochran explains what will happen to the migrants. Since last week, over 16,000 migrants from Haiti arrived at Del Rio, Texas, right across from the Mexican border. They started their trek in South and Central America. Guatemalan resident Jose Nufio started seeing an influx of Haitians in his hometown, Esquipulas, Guatemala. Between four or five months ago, we, we started seeing Haitians, migrants coming to town. Guatemala has been hard hit by COVID-19 and reinstated a nationwide curfew. Nufio is concerned about his community's public health with the surge of migrants. I, I have seen them not wearing uh, masks, especially now that uh, this, you know, the, uh, the spiking cases. Public health is also behind the Biden administration's decision to deport some Haitian migrants. They are using Title 42. According to an ACLU attorney, this gives health officials sweeping authority to limit disease transmission. When COVID happened, they did deploy Title 42. And the thing is, we need to look at the other ways that the government has been managing the COVID crisis, because then you see contradictions and hypocrisy and activists and attorneys are concerned that this policy first used at the border under the Trump administration is depriving migrants of their rights. The reason that it's so problematic is that asylum seekers are fleeing imminent persecution and they need to seek asylum now and there has never been like a waiting period requirement for seeking asylum. The Biden administration deported the first migrants via plane on Sunday. Federal officials told the Texas governor, Greg Abbott, that some of the migrants may be moved to neighboring states, including Arizona. At the Google Touch screen, I'm Kylie Cochran.